Hey guys, we have a Pronterface tutorial for how to connect your Pronterface to your printer bot. In this case, we're using a printer bot Simple Metal to basically do the final steps before you actually do your fresh print and press print. So in this case, you're going to click the port button. And in the case of our computer, it has auto selected COM8 to be the channel that is appropriate that this printer is connected to. Um, this is something that can be very finicky, so I definitely recommend that uh, you have anything like this sorted out, and make, making sure that the port is successfully at least connecting and finding the right communication port uh, from the beginning. Uh, this 15 or 11 5200, that is your baud rate, and in this case, we're going to keep it at this uh, precise baud rate. That's really important because that's the, uh, the frequency at which you're communicating with the printer. And so we're just going to connect here, and it says printer is now online. Just ignore this other stuff. Um, this is the, the one that you definitely want to see. So the first command that we're going to do is going to be M501. And this is going to bring up all of our stored settings that are on our printer right now. And then we're going to change some things around, and I'm going to explain what we're doing, and then we're going to save it all. And that's, those are the uh, really important features that you need to be altering to your printer uh, to make sure all the gearing and stepping is proper. So we're first going to start with uh, this M92, and we're going to say E. In this case, this is, uh, this is really important because you need to have these exact numbers because they're important calculations. 14573.37. We're going to press Enter. Okay, so what we're doing here is we are readjusting the steps per millimeter for the extruder. All that we're doing right now actually is just getting the printer to convert over to using that uh, syringe extruder that we have placed on it. And if you just look at the extruder, you'll notice that you're going from the small gear that is attached to the stepper motor that's normally pulling in plastic, and you're going and connecting that to a much larger gear. So you're gearing down a lot. This helps increase precision when you're talking about uh, translating from the stepper motor over to the lead screw that is going to be driving down your syringe. So you're increasing the accuracy of your volume deposition. But to do this, you need to have the computer and the printer recalculate how far it thinks one millimeter of movement is. The printer does not know that it has a syringe on it, so it's still going to be doing all of its calculations in millimeters, but it's actually in the real world going to be putting out milliliters of fluid. So we're going to adjust all these things to make that happen. So in this case, we have set up the proper steps per millimeter uh, now with our uh, gearing ratios put on. So in this case, this is a lot higher than what it would normally be for a plastic printer. It's 14,000 steps for one millimeter. And that's really big because we're only gonna be turning that extruder stepper motor a tiny, tiny bit in order to have that translate into depressing the syringe down. So once again, if you don't have this adjusted and you start printing, the extruder motor is going to be stepping way too fast for what you need. So uh, you need to have this set in first. So that's going to be helping getting your gearing down. Then you're going to type M203E1.0. This is your max feed rate. So like I said just a moment ago, if you don't have your steps per millimeter correct, um, and one millimeter is actually a very long distance when you're driving it down this lead screw, so it's going to have to spin like crazy in order to actually move uh, the plunger down one millimeter. So we just kind of set this as a safety feature because extruding one millimeter or of like per second is actually a lot. So uh, you'll be doing fractions of a millimeter per uh, edge of whatever you're printing. So this just sets the max feed rate to make it kind of like a fail safe. So uh, next we're gonna do M201E30. And so this is your max acceleration. And this is going off of pretty much like your max feed rate. And it's think of it like when you're adjusting your gantry, you have accelerations there. Uh, you're also going to have accelerations for your extruder nozzle as well. And you're kind of uh, scaling this in a, uh, appropriation to uh, the steps per millimeter now. So you are basically not having it turn super uh, extremely slow or extremely quickly. Uh, just to get everything in line. So those are really the only settings that you need. After that, to save everything, you're just going to type M500 and press Enter, and it's going to say Settings Stored. So once you have that done, that's pretty much all you need to do in order to adjust your printer from the plastic extruder that's going to be pulling filament in over to the syringe-based extruder, which is now turning a gear, which then depresses a syringe. That's pretty much all you have to do. If you guys have any questions, uh, you can just also, before you print, actually, you're going to be throwing in your file here and then pressing Print. 
um, and then you should be good to go. Uh, that's actually the last step you need to do. So other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and leave comments in the section below if you have any questions. Thanks.